Hey guys, uh, Patrick Johnston here, managing partner and director of GoDominicanLife.com and LasTerrenasLife.com. Right here in beautiful Las Ballenas Beach in the Dominican Republic in Las Terrenas. This is part of our uh, series of getting to know the team and the people that are around us and me that uh, provide customer service and support for both you as a customer and of course us as people that are making things happen for you. So this is uh, Fred. Hey, how you doing guys? Fred is a, a good friend of mine. Uh, we met in, uh, when I first came to town in 2014, way back. Yes. Uh, I came, I was uh, married at the time and I had my two kids with us. And we came here for the first time as a trial to uh, check out somewhere different in the Dominican Republic. Crazy story. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we wanted to go to somewhere different because basically we had been to Porta Plata, Sesua, Caborete, Punta Cana, Bavro, La Romana, all those places. But we wanted to come somewhere different and try living. So we ended up picking Las Terrenas. And back in 2014, this town, for the most part, didn't have paved roads. There was electricity four to six hours a day, but not all at once. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, we lived in uh, along what they call the Montserrat Road, which was uh, literally, yeah. which was literally about, um, how was it? That was about uh, uh, 200 meters from the beach. We put our children in uh, school here in the DR. And uh, at the time, we, my wife and I, we were getting to know each other once again, because we had just exited our own business or businesses in Canada. And uh, we wanted to uh, try and start, and not try, we wanted to start a new life. And we were going to do that in an area that was different. So we chose here. So Fred, along the way, where we were staying, we were staying in a very typical apartment. And we had been, for a couple of days, been going back and forth, walking the kids to school. And Fred and a bunch of other guys I know now. Yeah, I know, street town. We're hanging out at uh, a Colmado, Colmado, which is basically a 7-Eleven. And we'd walk by and there'd be like 12 or 15 guys there. Yeah, yeah. And on the third day of doing this in the morning, in the afternoon, I said to my wife at the time, look, we got to go out and uh, say hi to these guys because they keep saying hi to us, but we just go, hey, and we keep walking. And that's not my style. So one night, uh, put the kids to bed. My uh, wife stayed at home. And uh, I went out to the street to introduce myself to the guys. And how I do that type of thing is I go out and I just kind of make my way in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and not and... say a whole bunch of stuff. But then I went to the little Kumato where there's a guy doing the selling. And I said, what are you guys drinking here? Oh, we're drinking some rum. I said, okay. How much for like 12 shots of rum? Yeah, that's why you come in, you shut yourself in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So but I did that. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. And it I, was cool. everyone, he announced it in, in Haitian Creole. And the guy's like, what? Everyone's buying us a drink? I said, yeah, yeah. I'm here to introduce myself. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I don't want to uh, come in and not uh, give goodwill. So that's how uh, we started to meet. And Fred spoke English. Yes, yes, um, that's where we meet. And from there, we move forward. Yeah. And from there, and Patrick been there. And Patrick been helping a lot of people in the country. And Patrick mean a lot to a lot of people, Las Serenas, tourists, Dominican, and Haitian. And he did so much help, and we like that. And he's still helping the community, but the community don't give him that much effort with the helping. But we're still working on that, but we get that help for it. Yeah. But right now we're moving forward with the real estate and we're trying to do our best. Yeah. So check the vibe and we're doing the good thing <laughs> with the vibe. So if you want to look into it, we got a beautiful thing going on. So check into it, man. He's, he's on the ball, man. He's yeah. always hustling, so always selling. That's what we do, you know, <laughs> it's a good thing and we're checking in. So. I love you all, but check in the vibe, man. We're doing a big project, so I think y'all should get it in. So when I rolled into town, and then I rolled out of town, and then I rolled back into town, 
I said, I got to do a project down here, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, where we start the restaurant. So the first there. thing we wanted to do was say, I wanted to open the greatest, largest, greatest beach bar in the world. That was a, a project we built on uh, Punta Papi, still there today. Uh, but uh, uh, it was a beach bar, restaurant, and hostel uh, that we built. But Fred was instrumental for me because not at the time speaking any Spanish. Now I speak 100 words of Spanish. Fred was a uh, converter of language for me and translator. And he helped me negotiate uh, uh, the build of that and the supervision of that. So when I was back in Canada, because I was doing two weeks here, two weeks in Canada, Fred would send me all video at the beginning of the day. And the airport pickup. At the end of the day. Tank. And send me that video. Yes, yes, yes. That's my job. So we had an idea of what was happening. And how much cost we're doing, everything we're doing. We could, we could have everything in a budget list up so we know how much you're spending. So that's how it is. You and know? It, it, so to his, keep everybody yeah. in the line with the project and everything. So his role for me is a right-hand person to me. So anything I need uh, to help me with my day-to-day -day life, everything from taking my car for repairs and updates and cleaning to making sure if I'm out of town, my dog is taken care of and he's walked and, and all Maya, that kind of stuff. I love you. <laughs> Maya the dog. <laughs> and, and a translator of language. But beyond all that, we've been become good friends. It's seven and a half years or so we've been yeah. friends. So I, we have a long history together. Good or bad, we're yeah, connected I mean, for life now. We fight and we get along <laughs> and we get back. But I do some crazy stuff. But anyways, we still <laughs> know how to say sorry to each other. But we learn how to move forward and yep. not to make mistake and mistake yep, again. That's right. So we already learned from our mistake. So now we're ready to move forward. Because yeah. in life, you can't keep making mistake, mistake. Yeah. And that, so from that, we move forward. Yeah. And that's the pattern. That's the pattern of what we want to create. So for you, when you come here and you're setting up your team of people around you, you're going to find someone just like I did with Fred and other people around me as your support because you want to know someone that knows absolutely more than you uh, to help you get set up and started. So whether it's, uh, well, I call him the Haitian Google. So if I need a, a widget, a pool person, an architect, an engineer, he knows all the people, so he became a great resource for me. And, and you're going to find that for you. Airport pickup. Oh, that's right. Yeah, airport pickup. We there. Any any place in Dominican Republic. Like so. to the how what he was what are you explaining like, like that is that when I was in Canada, I would text him and say, okay, I'm arriving on Saturday in the Punta Cana. Figure it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. all I said. But he would he would negotiate with the car people. Yes, yes. Fi get the car filled up with fuel. The guy would even advance him for tolls, but we had an established relationship with that person. And he knew that as soon as I arrived off the plane and into Las Terrenas, we would get him all but settled Patrick, up and paid. Yes, but do you know we got a special price if the person buying property? So it's all cost, you know? Yeah. It's on us, you know? Yeah. So. And it helps. It really does help having someone who's your sort of second shadow when it comes to getting to know the policies, the procedures, and sort of what's available in the town. So and right now we're in the beach, you know, it's nice sunset and you can see the water. It's not that bad. So yeah. I think it's good if you come down here and see it and enjoy it and think about what you want to do. So don't forget, Vive, new project, <laughs> bring it in. <laughs> Always be closing, man. Always be closing. <laughs> So what he's talking about with Vibe is, of course, we've talked about it earlier on our videos. Vibe is our development that we're doing here in Las Terrenas, 46 private townhouse villas, 100 to 150 meters from the beach, starting around 250,000 to 300,000, depending on the location of the lot and the size of the lot. But it's a great project for you to think about. So from Fred and I at the beach. Yes. We're going to be buddies forever. That's how life is down here. And love you all and have fun. And don't forget to press like. <laughs> Break. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and if you need to reach me, of course, on WhatsApp, it's 829 525 1782. And don't be surprised if Fred picks you up at the airport because he's one of those guys that are on the team to help us. Okay? Thanks, Thanks guys. Love you. Love you. <laughs>